Hey folks, this is the Lightroom Blog Channel and I'm Sean McCormack. And in this video we're going to talk a little bit about folders in Lightroom. When you import to Lightroom, you're basically either bringing in a folder of images or moving or copying to another folder of images. So this is what it physically looks like on the drive. This is my main drive here. And you can see from the way I've imported that I use a year, month, and then I'll use a dated folder, and then I'll write in information about it as, as I've shot them. So it just gives me an idea of what's in each folder. So I go to Portumna Forest Park, for example, and I press G for grid. We can see some of the images I shot of flowers and trees inside the park. So these are residing on the disk. So if I go Command or or Control or or if I right click on it, I can select uh, show in Finder or Show in Explorer if you're on PC and that will bring up the folder and show the folder. If your OS has preview information in for these it will show them as actual pictures but as the operating system doesn't have compressed uh, raw files from the Fuji I don't get to see a thumbnail. So they're in a physical location on the disk. So if I was to look I would actually see that there's all of these 2014, 15, 16 etc folders on the disk. There are a few things we can do here as well, but by looking, the first thing that we see in the top here is that we have these special little bars, and these are actually representative of the disks themselves. Now, this looks like it's actually in the root directory of the disk. It's not. It's actually in this folder on the disk. So if I if I right click on that one there, for example, we go back and we go show in Finder. It's going to show this folder, and I'm going to bring it out into this location so we can see it like this. We can see that it's matching what's here. So we have 04 and 2017 here, but if you go back a little bit, we'll see that it's actually in a photo folder, which is then inside the root folder itself. We can actually show this folder on it. If we click on 2017 and then right click and we can go show parent folder. It will then attempt to put these all in a folder, which is a parent folder, which will takes a couple of seconds. So there we go. So we can now see that these are inside the photo folder, which as we've seen here, is where they actually are. So it is representative of what's on the disk, but you may not see the full path inside Lightroom. Now I'm gonna come up to this and I'm gonna put it back the way it was by going hide this parent. And that should bring us and put us pretty much back where we were. But I'm gonna select my Forest Park again. Now, as you can see, because it's literally translating stuff that's on the disk, it does take a little bit of time for that to happen. And I will update the numbers again. So there's a few other options inside there. Oh, very briefly, I should mention about the drives themselves. These little tabs beside them, the colors indicate how much space is left on them. So green means there's plenty of space. If you look down at one that's nearly full here, Voyager, with two gigabytes out of a thousand gigabytes, we can see it's orange. If it was less than that, it would actually go red. Th th this line here basically means that the drive is not connected. So these are external drives that are currently not connected. This is a small, tiny little drive. This one here is a four terabyte drive. So. There's also this little option here. If you right click on it, you can choose to have different things here. So you can have photo count, status, or absolutely no information. Generally, I just have them left on disk space. What other things can we do? Well, if we right click here, you can see that you could rename it. You can also choose to remove it. If we go for a rename, we'll just bring it up. You literally just put in a new name there. I'm trying to cancel out of that. Remove. I'm going to show you the options for that. That will say, remove the folder, how many folders it contains. These folders will be removed from the Lightroom catalog, but the folder and files will remain on disk. So you're not deleting the files, you're just taking them out of Lightroom. So I want them to stay in, so I'm going to click cancel. You can save metadata, that will write settings into the file. Synchronize folder is, it looks at the folder and see if there's new images and then we'll bring them in. So I'm going to do a remove photo. And this will actually bring up the delete option. So I can choose to delete from disk or just remove it. So I'm removing it from Lightroom, but it's still on the disk. So it's gone now. So 
I can right click and go synchronize folder and I only have this import new photos option selected here so it tells me that there's a new photo that's not in the catalog on the disk which obviously we've just deleted so we know it's there now you can choose to show the import dialog I'm not going to bother here you can also scan for metadata updates so if I had edited a file outside Lightroom like in camera raw and save that information it would look for those and it would bring them in as well but in this case we're just bringing in the new image so I click synchronize and because I haven't switched off the current import previous import option in preferences it now will jump to previous import I'm just going to click on none to make sure that it's definitely got none selected here here's our image now it's freshly imported so it's lost the information where I had attached the camera profile to it so if I go to this one here and come down into the right click menu I can go to folder and library that'll go back to where we were before so we can see that we've brought the images using in a synchronized folder update folder location so what I'm doing, gonna do is I'm actually gonna right click and go one down further to show you this you can have show in finder so I'm going to show where this is and what I should really do is select one of the ones that's got a low number of images in it to make it quick and um, say raspberries here so I'm going to go to raspberries and I am going to basically I'm going to do a copy and a paste okay so I'm going to go command C command V that's going to make a copy oh we can't yeah well, no sorry I want to paste it outside here all right and command V so that's making the copy which will take a second we'll skip that so here's our copy so if we now right click on raspberries and we go update folder location so what we're saying is this isn't the right location but we're going to go for the copy we say the copy is actually the right location choose and this will update now here and see raspberries is gone and raspberry copies is here now when you have a missing folder that you don't have the option of update folder location you'll have a find missing folder so I'm going to delete my copy okay so the copy has gone and it should detect that it's gone and see we've got this question mark here now to say it's gone so if I right click on that we can go find missing folder and I'm going to select the raspberry one the original one and it'll update to show that those are the correct ones now so these will say they're missing and now the missing thing is gone so I've done a secret little way of getting my images back the way they were by showing you, the, you those features um, import to this folder does what it says it just sets this as being the destination folder you can also set this to be the Lightroom uh, mobile downloads location which can also be set in preferences you can also choose to export this folder as a catalog so everything in this folder will become its own catalog which is useful if you wanted to edit stuff in this folder on a laptop while you're traveling show and finder as we've seen shows where it is and get information will get you information about that folder itself so here we go and it's showing you where that is now and here's our information about it so we can see that it's nearly a gigabyte so with folders you have your folder or you have your file or your photo file in one location only if you want to have multiple instant instances of it like with a management aspect you would use collections so you could have raspberries in a food in a fruit in a product or you'd have your best one in a portfolio so you can have one image in as many collections as you like but generally we, you will have it in only one folder so it only occupies one physical space on the disk uh, that's good because of the fact that you don't have to deal with it. lots and lots and lots of copies and which one is the final copy which is the copy copy etc so you just have one to deal with so folks that's been a general look at folders in Lightroom I hope you've enjoyed it and I've been kind of lazy not doing a, a camera thing today because I've been out shooting loads and loads of houses and things and it's quite late so I just want to 
get it up as quick as possible for you just have that information if you do like the video don't forget to like it give me the thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and hit the notification bell if you'd like to get notifications again thanks for taking the time to watch this and hope you found it beneficial do leave a comment if you want to leave a comment or if you have any questions please feel free uh, don't forget you can look at things on forums.adobe.com i'm an acp on there so i do answer questions on that and try help people on it or you can even ask questions here in the comments and I'll try to help them. Or if you've got a suggestion for a video to explain something that you want explained, please do leave a comment and I will look into it for you. Thanks a million.